Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of this video is what is A, B, C, D, a chart pattern, all right? So this is A, B, C, D chart pattern in a downtrend. And this is A, B, C, D chart pattern in an uptrend. And this is A, B, C, D chart pattern when we have a Fibonacci a pattern, talking about Gatley pattern, butterfly pattern, crab pattern, and this is A, B, C, D chart pattern when a Fibonacci pattern is being formed. Now to learn a master, all right, the A, B, C, D chart pattern, one must go to www.stochastic-magd.com, click on ABCD pattern, check out the video there. And there is another page that is very, very important, which we call the ABCD pattern extensions. Now, in theory, all right, in theory, not in practical trading, in theory, it's assumed that the descent from A to B should be equal to the distance from C to D. You will see that very often, all right? Now this is A, B, C, D chart pattern that we have here. Uh, the financial instrument that we are looking at is analog devices incorporated forming A, B, C, D chart pattern, all right? Now, sometime, as I told you before, in theory, the distance from A to B should be equal to the distance from C to D. But sometimes we have what we call an extension, which means the distance from A to B will not be equal to the distance from C to D, which means the distance from C to D can be longer than the distance from A to B. That you will see that very often when we are talking about the Fibonacci pattern, Gatley pattern, butterfly pattern, or and so on crap pattern. I'm not talking about crash a combo. Don't get hungry now. All right. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you will see that the descent from uh, A to B may be longer than the descent from C to D. All right. When you see that, when you see that, you know that the reversal here is likely to take place at a point D. The point D is a reversal point. So the A to B is longer than C to D, and a common center is broken, there's a high chance we may see a reversal. All right, I understand that. Okay. Now, in theory, the A to B should be equal to the distance from A, uh, C to D. It's not always the case. Sometimes you may see that, uh, especially in the, in the Fibonacci pattern case, you will see that the distance from C to D will be usually higher, longer, than the distance from A to B. That's the case for the butterfly pattern and the crab pattern. Butterfly pattern and the crab pattern. So you say to me, you are talking about all kind of, uh, okay, crustacea, <laughs> crustacea, all right. So <laughs> if you want to learn more about crab pattern, butterfly pattern, Check out our playlist at the Pro Traders YouTube channel uh, relating to Fibonacci pattern, all right? Cutley pattern, butterfly pattern, and so on, all right? So when we have Fibonacci pattern, in the case of crab pattern, butterfly pattern, the C to D is usually longer than the A to B. In theory, A to B should be equal to C to D. Sometimes you may see that the C to D will be shorter. In that case, we'll be expecting a sharp move down. All right, we will see. But let's continue our discussion. But to master it, go to www.stochastic-magnet.com. We have here A, B, C, D. So before you can qualify something A to B, in fact, you see here, from A to B, you see here, A to B, that A to B can also be subdivided into A, B, C, D. All right? So, a, B, C, D can be so divided into multiple A, B, C, Ds, smaller A, B, C, D. It's like a cycle. It's like a fractal pattern. 
So a bigger ABCD is being formed on one time frame for traders that want to master the predictive factor pattern that we are talking about at dayprotraders.com, the most powerful forecasting tool. Sometimes you may see a bigger, okay, ABCD chart pattern on a higher time frame may be duplicating itself on a lower time frame. It's having babies, children, literal ABCD on a lower time frame. That's a powerful <laughs> information that we have on a higher time frame that we can use on a lower time frame for scalping purposes. Sometimes a baby, so a little ABCD that is formed on a 10 minute time frame, okay, may be expanding itself on a higher time frame. So you may see on a 10 minute time frame, and then you may see the same pattern being formed on the hourly time frame. And then later on, it's being formed on a daily chart. And then later on, it's on a monthly chart, and so on. So that little 10 minute time frame, that ABCD that have been formed for a long time, talking about predictive factor pattern trading of Mr. Benoit Mandeborot, right, is now duplicating itself on a higher time frame. Or sometimes you may see the ABCD chart pattern of one component of the Dow Jones duplicating itself on other component of the Dow Jones in the same sector. Or a market leader may have each structure of ABCD copying itself, painting itself all over the place. All right, am I talking too much today? But this is more advanced trading, advanced use of the ABCD chart pattern. But if you are a swing trader, if you are a TSTWSYSUSUA trader, master the ABCD chart pattern. The most important pivot point for the ABCD chart pattern as is being formed, as is being formed, is the point C. So the pattern is not completed at point C, but it's before you say A, B, C. Now you're expecting C to D. A lot of people will see, and the common sense is broken here. You are a swing trader, take advantage of that. Use a different time frame trading method to trade it. You are a day trader, take advantage of that. The point C is the most powerful pivot point of the A, B, C, D. In fact, I'm writing an article about that point C, uh, because some traders, that's why they are trading all the time. They are looking for A, B, C, D, all the time. So A, B, C. All right. Now look at that. They may go again and count this as it. I told you there can be multiple smaller A, B, C, D with, within a bigger A, B, C, D. Did I say that before? So they may call it all again. This point here. A, they will say B. And then they say this is C again. And then they take it again up again. You can do it all over the place. So there can be multiple. So A, B, C. Boom. Now you see, you get A, B, C, boom, up. Now you go again, A, B, C, boom, up. You can keep doing that all the time. Feel free to quote me everywhere. Now, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to mock a little bit uh, the general consensus because there is a, a teaching that you can read. Huh? You see many web pages that Google always puts at the top of the, the list. They never put my web pages on the, on the top, always at the bottom. I'm talking about practical trading, I don't know why. And uh, people are talking about the same thing. A, B, C, D, A equal to B, blah, 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 blah. Here we are talking about practical trading. All right? Okay? So this is it. Have I said everything that I need to say? All right. So the point is the most important. The second most important point, pivot point for the A, B, C, D is the point D. So some traders... <laughs> Uh, especially those are uh, reversal traders. They are reversal traders. They like to trade. They reverse. They want to pick the bottom. They want to pick the top. So they are waiting. Oh, they don't. They don't participate in the formation. What a lazy traders. So they are waiting. So the C is completed at point D. Common sense is broken. They implement a top-down trading method to buy at point D. Those are high probability trading setup because uh, something is happening all the time and uh, they want to take advantage of it. <laughs> all right. So they are just trading A, B, C, D. Why do you trade? What's your, so they say, know your trading setup and trade your trading setup. So you ask many professional traders, what's your favorite setup? A, B, C, D. And they say, what is A, B, C, D? We are not in a, a primary school talking about A, B, C, D. But that's this what you are talking about. And some traders, the same thing, Fibonacci traders, that's why they love the Fibonacci patterns, the Dudley pattern, the butterfly pattern, all right, the crap pattern, the bad pattern, or the bad pattern, you'll see that usually the C to D may be shorter than the, the A to B. Same thing for the Gatley pattern, you may see that the C to D may be shorter than the AB for the crap pattern and the butterfly 
butterfly pattern, you may see that the C to D will be longer than the A to B. Or maybe because we talk about potential reversal point at the point D. This is about practical training, it's not about theory, all right? So, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so at the end of the day, what, why do we care about this pattern? Because we want to use it for practical training. We want to buy and sell. How do we buy and sell? We are only looking to buy and sell if there is a valid signal to sell. Have you seen a signal? If you did not see, don't buy anything. Feel free to quote me all over the place. Enough of wasting money all over the place. If you don't see any signal, don't buy anything. So how do you find a signal? You will use multiple time frame trading method or different time frame trading method. There is a signal time frame. There is a setup time frame. There is an entry time frame. So you can use two such the frame mastering top-down trading method by 2-4 stock trader. That's me. You will see five videos in your own time, all right? And you just say, George, I have difficulty to understand your accent, but I want to know this. So you, you just put up with me and wear, okay, your earphone, and you just listen gently. Take note, please. <laughs> all right. So this will conclude our discussion today about what is A, B, C, D, a pattern. Go to www.stukastic-madi.com, check the web page that we title ABCD pattern, probably video there, and then there's another web page that is very important, ABCD extensions. You want to watch it, you want to check it out, very, very important. After that, you want to check our playlist about, okay, Fibonacci pattern at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. You may also go to theprotrader.com, all right, but the playlist will help be very, very helpful to you. So that will help you to master the ABCD Jabato. But the, poor, the mistake that a lot of traders are making, sometimes they quickly jump into the trade before the common certain line is broken at the point C or at the point D. All right? So understand that when the price we call a point point D, so suppose you are at a point D, you say, okay, Joe, that's exactly what you said. Okay, the common central line is now broken at a point C. Do me a favor, draw a warning line at a point C. So though the common central line is broken here, all right. At a point C, you start implementing your different time frame trading method, or you are using a TSCWSY008 or TSCW24. And then you receive a clear cut signal, okay? You enter the trade. Sometimes signal do fail. That's why we draw a warning line there. So all the reason for drawing those warning lines is because you are saying priority to bullish signal above point C and priority to bearish signal below that level. So you may know if the music has changed, so you may also step, you may change your, okay, belly dancing. Are you using belly dancing when we are playing reggae? That's not the right way, isn't it? So when the music has changed, you do not use, okay, belly dancing step anymore, but you are using your reggae steps, all right? Same thing we do at the point D, you will draw a warning line there. That's, that's what we call potential reversal point. So sometimes the prime may pull back a bit because the commercial line is broken. You're thinking that there's going to be a reversal, but it's only a temporary reversal. You may say, oh, George, you say that this is a powerful, now it's not working. Don't worry. Sometimes you may see a temporary reversal, and then the prime will go back a point D. If it goes back above the point D and find a support, don't fight it. Just flow with the prime and buy instead using another different time frame trading method above it, all right? So this is very, very important. For new traders, all right, don't, because I'm very, very careful about new traders, don't go and start using this live. It may be very, very interesting. You may have understood everything that I said in my frog accent, all right? But do me a favor, please, all right? Use a demo account. This is so important. Or just paper trade it. Just take a piece of paper, okay, and then play with it on a piece of paper. You'll be amazed how many times you make a lot of mistakes for something that you already, you clearly, okay, understand, all right? 
And this is it. From there, you start asking questions, all right? And then you start polishing it. What if I did something different like this? Or maybe I did not apply the top-down training method carefully, all right? So from there, you start mastering it on a piece of paper, all right? So you are drilling it first. You are training to master it. You are polishing it. So most of the time, traders are running around while they are running around. In fact, they are running around because they are wasting time. They are missing steps. The, the learning stage is the first stage, the accumulation of the knowledge. And then what we call the assimilation of the knowledge, so the digestion. So the food going into the mouth, okay, you chew the food, and then you go into the stomach. But there is no finish yet. There is a digestion process. And then you have to send it out. Input, output. So sometimes we miss the stops, all right? We miss the steps, and then we run away. But we let ourselves down because we could have done better. But just because we have missed those steps, we run around and say, that, oh, I can't use this. But you could have used it. So don't miss those steps. Use a demo account, drill it down, and master it, read more, watch videos. And then you say, all right, I've been playing with this for three months now. Now I'm ready for it. And if you're going to start using it live, don't go around. Uh, maybe you have the first trade that is a winning trade, and then the next day you have a five trades all over the place. Don't do that. And then you lose, and then you say, oh, oh, don't do that. Just keep going with one trade all the time. So you, then you start with one trade, keep winning that trade trade. So you see one trade through, you, you enter one trade, and you watch it till the end, until you get paid. It's a successful trade, so you are proud of yourself. Next day you take again one trade, one trade, one trade, one trade, maybe for one month. Following month, maybe you go two trades, all right? You see now? So you don't have to deal with many trades all the time. So sometimes people have some winning trade for one trade, and they go around, they open five trades, and then the next day they, they wipe out their trade account. And then they look and they say, oh, how do I feel now? Okay, don't do that, okay? I've done it much stuff. That's how I know. And I do not want you to go through the same process. It's not nice, my friend. It's not nice. It's not nice, okay? So thank you for watching. And I will speak to you soon. If you have any suggestion, okay, any complaint, any lament, okay, any acclamation, all right, any questions, all right, any query, <laughs> please put it in the comment section. And of course, I'll be answering your specific question. If this video has been totally, totally useful to you, please let us know how. By giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you see that, Joe, this is not for me, it's another rubbish, please mark it down. All right, let us know if it's a rubbish or not, all right, please. However, if you think, George, for the first time in your life, you have done something good, all right, let us know by sharing it on the social website. If you want to learn more about ABCD share pattern, go to www.stochastic-market.com, two web pages, one about ABCD pattern, the second one about ABCD pattern extensions. To master Fibonacci pattern, check out our playlist about Fibonacci pattern at the Pro Traders YouTube channel. This video will be posted on 24 Stock Trader YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today. 24 digit 2 digit 4 stock trader and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video you will be the first person to be notified all right until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tstw24 uh, traders talking about what is abcd pattern George, just a simple question, ABCD, what is ABCD pattern? And it took you 19 minutes to answer it. Oh, I'm not impressed at all. George, thank you for watching. <laughs> and I will uh, speak to you soon. Happy to you all.